NASA knows a secret about you. The U.S. government has a secret about you. The elite have a secret about you. There's a reason that black cells are literally in out of space. Your royal DNA cellular bloodline is filled with the God particle, but it lies dormant within you. Beloved, my name is Vicky Dillard. I receive supernatural insight concerning your messenger DNA code from a supernatural messenger. If you're not supernatural, this isn't for you, but if it's for you, you don't want to miss my ancestral messenger DNA code activation part two on the most magical day of the year. Don't miss it. The link is below. Signs and wonders follow. Don't miss it. 12, 12, 21 is your day to ascend into your guard particle. Hello, my beautiful people. How you doing? My name is Olivia Nantongo. I'm a wellness and nutrition therapist. And today I want to talk to you about high blood pressure. High blood pressure also refers, uh, referred to as HBP or hypertension is when your blood pressure, uh, in other words, the force of blood flowing through your blood vessels is consistently high. High blood pressure is a common condition in which the long-term force of the blood against your artery walls is high enough that it may eventually, okay, it may eventually cause health problems such as heart diseases. Now, hypertension is actually a serious illness and should be uh, paid enough attention, okay? So hypertension is determined by both the amount of um, blood your heart pumps and the amount of resistance to the blood flow in your arteries the more blood your heart pumps and the narrow your arteries the higher your blood pressure will be okay a blood pressure reading is given in uh, milliliters of mercury it has two numbers you have the high one and you have the lower one okay now when it comes to uh, hypertension it's quite common uh, according to statistics more than 3 million US cases are reported each year only in the states so these are high numbers we're talking about it's of course a treatable condition by professional medical care okay uh, and of course we have nature let's not forget about nature okay there are a lot of herbs that can help control it and most people with hypertension have no signs or symptoms. Even if uh, hypertension readings reach dangerously high levels, this is why it's called a silent killer, okay? It's known as a silent killer. A few people with hypertension may have headaches, shortness of breath, or nosebleeds, but these signs and symptoms, they aren't specific and usually don't even occur until your hypertension has reached a severely uh, life-threatening stage so again a silent killer pay attention to your blood uh, pressure you uh, you will likely have your doctor uh, you know have your blood pressure taken as part of your routine so make sure whenever you have appointments you check your blood pressure and this can be once a year uh, uh, every six months or so remember the older you get okay the older you get the higher the risk of high blood pressure so ask your doctor for blood pressure reading every year preferably but of course you can do it you know as often as you want and wish according to how you feel now hypertension generally should be checked in both arms okay um, to determine if there's a difference because there can be a difference and it's important to use an appropriate uh, size arm cuff that is holding you tight enough so most most times your doctor will likely recommend more frequent readings if you've already been diagnosed with hypertension or have other uh, risk factors for cardiovascular diseases children of uh, age 3 
or older will usually have hypertension measured as part of their yearly routine or checkups. This is important because you never know. And if you don't regularly see your doctor, you may be able to get free hypertension screening at your health resource fair or other locations in your community. Uh, let's say you're going to do some shopping. Most malls today, uh, and even pharmacies, they have machines that you can actually use to measure your hypertension for free. So when you go shopping, make sure you check your hypertension, okay? Uh, now, there are two types of hypertension, okay? High blood pressure has two types. The primary essential hypertension, okay? We're going to talk about the primary essential hypertension. This is for most adults. There is no indefiable cause of high blood pressure. This type of high blood pressure called a primary essential hypertension, it tends to develop gradually over many years. So it's kind of sneaking up on you slowly, 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 slowly. And then we have secondary hypertension. Now, some people have high blood pressure caused by underlying conditions, okay? Uh, so if you have underlying health conditions, okay, this type of high blood pressure, uh, in other words, secondary uh, hypertension, tends to appear suddenly and cause higher blood pressure than uh, in case of primary hypertension. So various conditions and medications can lead to secondary hypertension. And this, of course, includes obstructive uh, sleep apnea, apnea, obstructive sleep apnea, sleep apnea, you know. And then you have um, kidney diseases. Uh, adrenal gland tumors, thyroid problems, oh, thyroid problems, we don't like them. And of course, certain uh, defects that one is born with in blood vessels. I actually had a friend, you no, know, I have a friend who suffers from that. She, had, she was born with defects in her blood vessels. And of course, certain medications such as birth control, cold remedies, um, the congestants, over-the-counter pain relievers, and some prescription uh, prescription drugs. Okay, now drugs, illegal drugs, I will say, such as cocaine and amphetamines, they do cause uh, hypertension as well. And of course, the risk factors of high blood pressures are are many, and age is one of them. The risk of hypertension increases as you age, okay? Until about the age of 64, hypertension is more common in men, okay? Women are more likely to develop hypertension after age 65. We only get one year, <laughs> one year's break. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, rest, um, hypertension is particularly common among people of African heritage, often developing at a very, or we'll say earlier age than it does in whites. Serious complications such as stroke, heart attack, and kidney failure are also more common in people of African heritage. And you know why? Because we're not eating the food we were designed to, and we're not moving accordingly. So check your family history, if hypertension runs in your family, take care of yourself a little bit extra. Show yourself some love. Being overweight or obese, the more you weigh, the more blood you need to supply oxygen and nutrients to your tissues. Common sense, guys. As the amount of blood flow through your blood vessels increase, so does the pressure on your artery walls. So avoid gaining weight okay not being physically active is an issue people who are inactive tend to have higher heart rates the higher your heart rate the harder your heart must work with each contraction and the stronger the force on your arteries 
So lack of physical activity also increases the risk of uh, being overweight. You know, got to be mobile. Okay. Tobacco use. Not only does smoking or chewing tobacco immediate, immediately raise your uh, blood pressure temporarily, but the chemicals in tobacco can damage the lining of your artery walls. This can cause your arteries to narrow and increase your risk of heart disease. Okay, so secondhand smoke can also increase your heart uh, disease risk. So don't think it's okay. You're not smoking because you, if you're sitting beside someone who's smoking, then guess what? You are putting your health at risk. Too much salt. We spoke about salt before. Sodium in your diet is no good. Too much sodium in your diet can cause your blood to retain fluid, which increases blood pressure. Easy off the salt, okay? Too little potassium in your diet helps. Um, too much potassium. Too little potassium in your diet, as you know, potassium helps balance the amount of sodium in your cells. So a proper balance of potassium is critical for good heart health. If you don't get enough potassium in your diet or you lose too much potassium due to dehydration or other health conditions, sodium can build up in your blood. Okay? Detox, detox, detox. Okay? Drinking too much alcohol over time, heavy drinking will damage your heart. Okay? Having more than one drink a day for women and more than two drinks a day for men may affect your hypertension okay so if you drink alcohol do so in moderation so for healthy adults that means uh up to one drink a day for women and two drinks a day for men uh i don't know who decided uh of course this should be in considering to the size of the person too so one drink equals to 12 ounces of beer let's say okay uh five ounces of wine or 1.5 ounces of 80 proof liquor so moderation again moderation stress high levels of stress can lead to temporary increase of hypertension stress related habits such as guys eating more using tobacco or drinking alcohol can lead to hypertension um i don't know how people eat more when they're stressed uh i don't know uh, anyway, uh, certain chronic disease, certain chronic conditions also increase hypertension. And of course, this includes um, kidney diseases, as I said before, diabetes, sleep apnea. And sometimes pregnancy contributes to hypertension as well. Okay. Although hypertension is more common in adults, children may be at risk too. For some children, hypertension is caused by problems with kidneys, okay, or, or heart diseases. Of course, this has to do with obese again. Think about what you're feeding your kids. But for a growing number of kids, poor lifestyle habits such as unhealthy, unhealthy diet and lack of exercise is the main contribution to hypertension. So the fatter, the more obese your child is, the more risk. Why do that to your child? And hypertension can complicate so much. The excessive pressure on your artery walls caused by hypertension can damage your blood vessels as well as your organs. The higher your blood pressure and the longer it does, it, oh, it goes uncontrolled, okay? The higher your blood pressure, and the longer it goes uncontrolled, the greater the damage. So uncontrolled hypertension can lead to complications such as heart attacks, stroke. Uh, hypertension can cause hardening and uh, thickening of the arteries, which can lead to an immediate heart attack, uh, strokes again, and of course other complications because you know what stroke is going to lead to. Um, aneurysm. Increased hypertension can cause your blood vessels to weaken and bulge. 
forming an aneurysm. If an aneurysm ruptures, it can be life-threatening. Seriously, heart failure, your blood, your heart can get tired of working too hard, okay? Uh, weakened and narrow blood vessels in your kidneys. This can prevent these organs from functioning normally. You understand? So this is a serious condition. The thick and narrow or torn blood vessels in the eyes, which can result in vision loss. You understand? Uh, then let's talk about the metabolic syndrome. Uh, trouble with memory or understanding. Trouble with memory or understanding concept is more common in people with hypertension. Believe it or not, this happens. So you see hypertension causes a lot of <laughs> issues here. Dementia. Since it blocks the arteries, obviously this limits the blood flow to the brain, okay? Leading to a certain type of dementia. Uh, and of course, a stroke that interrupts blood flow to the brain also can cause vascular uh, dementia. There are different types of uh, dementia, of course. So guys, this is a serious illness. You understand? This is a serious illness and needs to be uh, paid enough attention. And of course, do everything you can to avoid it because this is something that can gradually sneak up on you and bam, from nowhere, you wake up and you're suffering from this. There are many ways of helping yourself in, a, in the early stages to control your blood pressure with herbs. Uh, sorrel is very good to drink, uh, which is hibiscus also, you know, and fennel seeds are very good, uh, cumin seeds are very good, clove is very good, uh, and of course, turmeric. Uh, these are things that you can look into I want you to do some research, know what is good for you, and once you do and it's working for you, pass on the knowledge, okay? Uh, thank you once again. Uh, my name is Olivia. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, of course. And I will see you next time. Love you. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.